Gamer. Welcome to ZGC. My name is Aurelius and today we are getting into some Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia. But before we dive in today, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and you can follow me on all my social media platforms. The links will be down there in the description uh, today. We're going to talk about the threat terror level. Alright, so from what I've noticed just playing around, um, once you completely suppress a threat, they will disappear for 12 hours. Like, they won't show up on the map. Um, as you see here, 21 minutes until Z comes back. But they have not shown up for a, an amazing 12 hours. You know what I'm saying, um, and and uh, once you uh, clear terrors, you know each one has a certain percentage associated with it. So one star and two star terrors, they're worth five percent um, off the total uh, sub threat level, and then the three star missions are a whopping fifteen percent. You know, and as you get down to 50%, you claim nice little roars right there. And then again at 20%. You know, um, so it is well worth it to get them completely suppressed. Just log in every hour and don't go through. Now, um, like for the Black Legion down here, if, if I was to on the next... Uh, situation update um, and Black Legions were to show up and I'd let them get back over 50%, I would not get that 50% bonus again. You'd have to completely suppress that faction, you know, meaning uh, make them look like that little Z icon up there uh, <laughs> before these rewards would reset. And from what I've seen, Black Legion would give you biofuel, the red faces give you steel, and the Z would give you magnetite. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I was trying to get factions up to 100%. It doesn't seem that is possible, which is kind of weird to me. I figured there should be like some kind of reward for a really super hard, hard stage. You know what I'm saying? For eliminating a threat at 100%. Like, just a different kind of terror would show up. But for now, it's just the basic two, three, two star, one, two, and three star, I should say. Um, terrors that we've been facing all the time. And then once you get it completely suppressed, a Rubicon will show up. And I have a screenshot of that. It'll be like a little purple icon that will show up somewhere randomly on the map and it's just basically the old four star terror so nothing new is just there'll be at least one enemy in there that will be flashing purple um to get a little bit of extra gems but you, you do this three times suppress all three factions once a day every day because i don't see you doing it twice because of the 12 hour um things that's 42 gems you know, for each one of those completed. So you multiply that by three. That's 126 gems. So, I mean, just do this once a day. You know, do that for a week or two. And you should have a pretty good supply of gems to, you know, start going after things you really want. Like maybe some Chosen One armor, which I, I, I don't even know how many facts for this. I have like 54 out of 200 like <laughs> you know what I'm saying or or you know the thing I've been going for uh, over the weekend while while the dragon machine gun was exclusive I went ahead and got enough racks to get that to a rank you know what I'm saying just because of this influx of new gems that we get daily instead of just you know logging in at random times throughout the day and hope one of your two four star terrors show up for the day you know what i'm saying um so just keep that in mind remember one and two star terrors are worth 
5%. Three-star terrors are worth 15%. Make sure you completely suppress the faction to refresh these rewards over here for uh, suppression levels. You know, and once you completely suppress a an essentially a Rubicon, aka four star mission, will show up, or a four star terror will show up, and you can get some extra gems in there. There's also these gold enemies that will show up that will give you like little rocket icon. I don't know if any of you have experienced this, yeah or not, but if you see a gold enemy, yeah, you'll get like a little rocket, and it's essentially like a free grenade. You know, I've gotten, like, a chain reaction of multi-kills with one um, against Red Face. Killed uh, one of the raiders uh, that was about to launch a grenade. And his grenade dropped. And, you know, I killed two people with the... No, I killed three people with the rocket. Then his grenade blew and blew up two more people, which was another raiding holding another grenade. And then two more enemies walked up to that same spot. How did they blew up? It was just a multi-kill chain. It was awesome. <laughs> Wish I would have had that on camera. But I hope that helps you guys out with the uh, terror threat levels and how they work and everything. You can't get them up to 100%. Uh, threat level, it was just... Stay at 90. Remember to suppress the faction completely to refresh the rewards. And once you completely suppress them, so once you beat that four star uh, uh, terror, they will not appear again on the map for 12 hours. How sweet is that? So you're not burning through those med kids every hour. <laughs> you know, they're trying to get these resources and everything. Right, let's go ahead and get into some more Zoran's Fortress. You know, um, I remember the carts this time. Trust me, they're, they're not going to get us again. In, unless we're forced to be hit by <laughs> uh, Yeah, I, I've just been... Having a blast trying to figure out all these little new things for for the update. Like I said, those gold enemies. I mean, I've seen them show up in bases. I've she seen them show up in two and three star terrors. You know, so they show up along with the purple enemies. Purple enemies will give you gem. And I've seen one gold, one purple uh, per stage. Like, that's the max. I'm not saying that they will always show up. Ooh, I was dangerously close to that track uh i'm not saying they'll always show up every single level so like if you're going to like a three-star terror for somebody there may not be a purple or gold enemy that shows up at all but when they do be sure that you're the one to kill it you know what i'm saying whoa that's so close so close i do not like this stage <laughs> Uh, yeah, just be sure you're the one to, to kill those gold and purple enemies. Purple ones will give you the most gems I've gotten from it is about four gems. Um, if you've gotten higher by killing a gold or a purple enemy, then if, let us know down there in that comment section how many was the most gems you got for killing a purple enemy. Like I said, the most I've gotten is four. So if you've gotten more than four gems for killing a purple enemy let us know down there in that comment section and if you've seen more than one gold and purple enemy in a stage let us know down there in the comment section too you know um because like i said i've only seen one of each per stage and you know just because you're in a really hard stage doesn't necessarily mean that they'll both show up i mean i've done four star terrors where only the gold enemy shows up you know, and I've done like three star where only the the uh, purple enemy shows up. You know, and there's like a weird little glitch going on too. Like if the purple enemy is like one of the first ones that shows up. And it's going to be something big. It's going to be like a suppressor or a soldier spider or, you know, an engineer or a mechanic or something like that. No, they're not going to make one of those guys the purple enemy. They're just too easy to kill. It's, you're going to have time to uh, plan <laughs> plan how you're going to kill it before your co-op buddy does. Because <laughs> that's essentially what it boils down to. It's 
just gonna become a race to kill that enemy first. But um, what was it said? Yeah, uh, the, uh, the glitch. I've seen this glitch where if that purple enemy shows up um, first. You know, like one of the first big enemies that comes out and there's like multiple copies of it throughout the rest of that stage. You know, if you continue killing it, you'll see it pop up like this happened to me with the soldier spider um, earlier today where I killed the soldier spider and got three gems from it. And then like four more soldier spiders came out throughout the course of that uh, stage. You know what I'm saying? Um... And it kept saying I was getting three gems. It's like, those enemies aren't purple. When is this some kind of glitch? Thing? Am I really walking away from this with 12 extra gems? No, I only walked away with three extra gems <laughs> for that very first kill. So just be mindful of that if you do see that uh, glitch. You should probably let the devs know about it. <laughs> I didn't even think to submit a ticket for it, but should probably let them know about it. Hopefully they see this video and... And uh, uh, we'll do something about it. But just be mindful of it. Um, only one purple enemy per kill. Even if you see you, yourself getting gems for killing multiple copies of that same enemy, you're only going to get that base amount of three to four gems. You know, um, it'd also be nice to know what's the least amount of gems you've gotten from from those uh, purple enemies because the least amount I've seen is oh, that card's coming, it's coming. All right, there we go. We're in the clear. Uh, the least amount I've seen is three, um, but it's quite possible that you can only get two, you know, or possibly even one. Although I don't see the devs being that mean and just giving one gem. I mean, like, even the gem box we get every four hours doesn't allow you to get one gem from it. So I don't see one gem being. <laughs> possible but i could see definitely see two you know and i can see like up to five being the max but i have not seen two and five pop up i've only seen three and four so it just really really depends um and we'll keep going through this until we hit next conversation or a uh, map change which will probably be a conversation leading up to that ooh attack helicopter and that looks like a suppressor we gotta fight what no conversation either okay oh wow they're just this thing is so in our face right now let's go ahead and oh I missed that shot no way all right freeze uh, how am I not hitting this super soldier up here? Like, are you being... F oh, oh, my gosh. This is wacky, yo. Are we still got the carts to worry about? Oh, man. There's, like, no room <laughs> to avoid that missile. <gasps> oh, my gosh. All right, there we go. That's a super soldier hit. It doesn't even matter now. Like, I know I put out that video on the attack helicopter but you see how low his blue bar is if you're in a position like that just take the helicopter out itself you know what i'm saying don't worry about taking out the super soldier that's just like when it first shows up you know and you haven't done any damage to it you know go ahead and try to take out that uh super soldier that was just a really weird angle and i don't know why my sniper shots weren't getting through i was hitting that dude right in his face you know, it missed two or three shots like that. Like, it's weird. I'm glad the camera angle does go back to normal. Oh, yeah, suppressor. You're catching some dynamite. And hopefully it takes out a couple of your buddies. Nope. Didn't take out a couple of your buddies. Whoa, where did that assassin come from? Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. All right, there we go. Uh, somehow we managed to survive that. <laughs> All right, let's get out the way of that. And. Oh, it's a sniper way out there. Oh, missed that. So that shit hits you in time. No. Oh, my gosh. Side powers need a serious revamp. I'll just quick scope you. How's your guys' day going? Are you 
enjoying the uh, brand new update on everything. I mean, it's about time to uh, start trolling Facebook to see if they got any news on the next update. Ah, I'm just update hungry right now. I want, I want to start fighting the Dominion. <laughs> I, I, I really, really do. Um, I'm not looking forward to fighting them, but it just be such a, an exciting change. It such a shift in gears for the game because i know that's how it was in, in the first one once you started fighting dominion on a constant basis it was, it was just like oh my gosh you know what i'm saying uh oh stage change this kind of looks awesome uh did you see that too yes a busted general kubertoff has pride of place surprising Zorn is such a hypocrite. Jordan Kubertoff gave his life protecting humans from machines. And Zorn sold himself to machines, built a palace on the Dominion's doorstep, and after that, he has the guts to or decorate his mansion with monuments of the general. Or to the general. Lion bastard. He will pay. Morales really does not like Zorn right now. <laughs> this almost feels like a grudge fight rather than a necessary um, strategical uh, implementation. Uh, impl yeah, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Uh, it doesn't seem very strategical at this point. It's what I'm saying. Very strategic. Strategical. Strategic. Yeah. Come on, brain. Work for me. Work for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I get it. Yeah, you do, from a strategic standpoint, yeah, you do kind of want to take out Zorn, especially with where he's at on, or where he's decided to hold up. You know what I'm saying? Because this would be the gateway to Dominion territory, and, and uh, he's completely abandoned everything that the Black Legion has. Stands for uh, let's get it. There we go. I've been doing that a lot lately, like just slightly up and to the left. Oh, whoa! I don't know what's wrong with my sniper shot, <laughs> but um, on top of that, just you know, just reading the story and everything, it seems like. You know, Morales has her personal reasons, which I get. You know, um, basically taking command of the Black Legion from her because she, Zorn, basically told all the rest of the Black Legion that wasn't with with Morales and Blake at the secret base that she, they were dead. You know, and, and Major Outrank's captain... You know, but it doesn't outrank Colonel. Colonel. So if a Colonel is missing, then yeah, it would fall to the Manger as the next in command. And Zorn took advantage of that. He really did. You know, and he took advantage of it by lying to his own troops. With somebody in that kind of position, like I served nine years in the army. Like somebody in that kind of position shouldn't, you know, abuse their power like that. You know, I mean, you don't want to lie to your troops, ever. You know what I'm saying? I, that's exactly what Zorn did. So, yeah, I'll be more than happy to take this dude out. Uh, I mean, I think Morales is just getting a little too personal with it, too. Which, she's a colonel, she should know better. <laughs> he, he, he can't get personal with it, either. Oh, whoa, he got that last one off. All right. Whew, that was close. Uh, uh, let me know what you guys think about um, Zorn and how this whole thing has played out. You know, um, and I, I'm looking for an next boss. I was, had a couple of battles against the Executioner because that's like the next boss I wanted to get up and show you guys how to beat. It's just. Trace match, yeah, I kind of did what I wanted with it, but it was in a co-op, and the other dude was just super powerful, and, you know, that executioner went down in about, I don't know, five seconds. It was <laughs> ridiculous. And, um, 
and the other one I just couldn't get what I wanted to do. Like the execution is not a easy boss to uh, take out. And I was recording one for the Overlord, but something went horribly wrong with that. So I was just like, no, gotta scratch that. So uh, let me know if you guys are cool with just like a mammoth tank or or a suppressor or a super soldier or you know any one of the like lesser bosses you know uh or as as the black legion base puts it elite for the, your next boss video because i do want to get one out one of those out to you guys this week and that'll just kind of be the goal get at least one a week out to you guys um as far as bosses go i really want the executioner and if i had the blueprints i'd just do like a base defense like clear out my entire base and do a base defense and choose some really weak weapons and and go that route but i don't i'm like 14 blueprints away from oh excuse me from creating an executioner yeah it, yeah i feel like that would help out a lot of people especially since there is an executioner boss very very early on so for some of the the newer players you know i know that would help them out a lot I mean, it's going to be a while before they start seeing terminators and and uh <laughs> attack helicopters but anyway hope you guys all have an awesome awesome day don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and i will see you later gamer